Filling out a judging card the correct way begins with knowing the county you're from, your contestant number, your name, and the title of the class you're about to judge. The most important item listed above is your contestant number. Knowing this and putting that number on every card, you turn in. This will ensure you receive points for every class and the points are going to you, not another contestant. Depending on how many classes you have, each contestant will need to fill out multiple cards. There is one card for each class judged. One tip that may assist in decreasing stress while judging is having each card filled out before classes enter the ring, so the judge will be ready and focused on the class at hand. Once the personal and class information is filled out, focus on the class in front of you and place the class. The next step is finding the correct placing order on the card. Let's say I place the class 3412. I will go over to the list of numbers, go down the list until I find 3412. Then I will mark on the blank space next to the placing. I will put a check mark or an X, some sort of marker. Not only will I put a marker, I will also draw a box around the selected placing order. This provides extra clarification and confirmation that 3412 is the placing order that I have judged, allowing the person who is inputting scores into the computer to have full confidence in my placing and provide accurate results that I earned. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our other livestock judging videos as well as the Alabama Cooperative Extension YouTube channel.